Hi, Kenny here. Today we're going to be talking about when is a plein air painting not a plein air painting. Well, I suppose you would say if it's a plein air painting, it's always going to be a plein air painting. Well, we're going to take a closer look at that. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to talk about those, but at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some links where you can go and act, look at the actual um, paintings that I'm talking about. So I'll do that at the end of the video. So before uh, I go any further, let's really uh, define what plein air painting is. Now I'm sure most of you looking at this video already know, but if, you were, if you're like me or like I was for many years, I've been pa painting outdoors for over 50 years now. And for 30 of those 50 years, I did not know that I was a plein air painter. Just didn't know it. Well, eventually I started moving in circles with other artists and that like to paint outdoors. And I found out, oh, you're a, you're a plein air painter. So that really gave the definition right there. Plein air painter, plein air meaning P-L-E-I-N-A-I-R, plein air, that's a French term. And that really means painting outdoors. So that's the definition of painting or, or what plein air painting is. So uh, recently, as a Sunday afternoon, now I'd gone to church first, but a Sunday afternoon, I decided I'd go out and I did a couple of paintings that afternoon. One was in the library, Pasadena Central Library, and the other was on Colorado Boulevard, famed Colorado Boulevard for the Tournament of Roses Parade. The library's only three blocks from there. So I did the painting in the library first, and then I walked over to Colorado Boulevard, and I did a painting there. So what's the difference between those two? Uh, I'm gonna talk about first the similarities of those, and the question we're, we're looking at now is, when is plein air painting not a plein air painting? Because there were a number of similarities between working in the library and working on Colorado Boulevard. Now in the library, I was indoors. However, although I was indoors, it shared a lot of the same uh, circumstances that you would see out on the street. Here are a couple of them. First, working in the library was in a public place. There were people walking around, there were people watching me doing the painting, and so that situation in the library, inside that library, was similar to the one that's on the street. Uh, one of the things that really defines plein air painting is the changing light situation. When you're outdoors, the sun's moving, and you have a constant changing of light, shadows, and all of the other things. And that's one of the things that makes it so interesting. Well, I had the same thing in the library. There was a skylight right over my head, or not directly over, but over my head. And so I had that same sort of changing light situation. In fact, when you look at the video, you're gonna see that it's really kind of blows out a lot of painting because the light was so bright in there and that light was coming from the sun. So that's uh, uh, another situation is similar in the library indoors as it would be as it was out on Colorado Boulevard. One of the, the final things that was very similar was the subject matter. In the library, there are, were some really nice lamps that hung from the ceiling, and I, that was really the, the focus of my painting in the library. Well, when I went out on Colorado Boulevard, what really caught my attention was this very ornate lamp post on Colorado. And so I chose that as the subject matter for my painting. So there you have, you have the, the people watching, you have the changing lights, you have the subject matter that's, that's almost identical in both situations. So can you call the one in the library a paint, plein air painting? Well, we'll answer that in just a second. Now, there were two major differences between working in the library and working out on the street. In the library, there was a roof over my head. Like I said, there was a skylight, but there was a roof over my head. So that wasn't the case out on the street. The, uh, the second thing that was different is that there were really no cars. There were, not really, there were absolutely no cars <laughs> going through the library. And on the street, you heard the traffic noise and things like that. So those are really the two biggest difference, differences technically. So now we're going to answer, when is a plein air painting not a plein air painting? Well, it wasn't technically, it was not a plein air painting that I was doing in the library. 
Um, although a lot of the situations were similar, uh, it, it just wasn't technically what you would call a plein air painting because I was indoors. But experientially, it was about the same. You know, I had the same rush of adrenaline from the people watching and the changing lights and everything like that. And so I had really the same experience of painting indoors as I did outdoors. And so the bottom line is, like I said, I, it's, it's not a plein air painting. So I'm sort of um, um, not abandoning the, the uh, definition of being a plein air painting. I, I'm, I guess you could say I'm decommissioning that for myself. Simply because I enjoy painting in, indoors in places like coffee shops and waiting rooms and uh, all of those different places where you, you, know, you find yourself indoors a lot. So instead of really referring to myself as a plein air painter primarily, and you know, definitions aren't necessary, but it kind of helps define us in a sense of knowing what our, really, our real purpose and focus is with our art. So instead of calling myself a plein air part artist, until I come up with a better term, I'm just calling myself a travel artist. Because once I leave my house, uh, and whether I'm traveling uh, to a grocery store or traveling across the state or traveling across the country or around the world, whether I'm indoors or outdoors, if, as long as I'm away from home and I'm there where I can paint, then I'm a travel artist. And so I don't have to feel like, okay, I'm leaving the core of who I am once I go indoors just because I'm not, not out on a street corner. And I still love doing that. So. That's uh, really the, the difference between the two. Like I said, uh, you know, uh, technically it's not painting in plain air indoors, but then you can still have the same joy. Now I'm gonna give a shameless promotion for my art kit here. In fact, this is one of the paintings that I did. That's the one in the library. And one of the reasons I'm promoting that, of course, you know, this channel, that's what this is all about. But this kid has been so helpful with me being able to just go somewhere, having all my tools there and just opening up my kit and being able to do a quick painting right away. So um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please click the like, you know, the thumb thing there and let me know. And please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be posting uh, more videos on painting outdoors and indoors, being the travel traveling artist. And so let's connect and uh, let's really get a conversation going about what we can do away from our studios or away from our, our home. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Goodbye.